All right, we're here with our first round leader so far, Carlotta Seganda, with a nice round of four under. What are your big takeaways from your success today? Uh, I played pretty solid, started pretty good. I started on 10, so I birdied 11 and 12. Uh, hit good shots, made some really good pats. I had a double on 14, which is, it was playing quite long this morning. But then I bounced back, birdied 15, 17. And then the front end, it was pretty good too. Like I made a bogey on the second hole, but then hold a couple good pads on four, five, and then I almost made an eagle on seven. So two parts to finish. I mean, pretty happy with four under at this golf course. It's a new course, quite hilly. It was very cold this morning, so I thought it was quite tricky. I was going to ask about that, how the new golf course plays into this. And it was, you're right, it was 50 degrees when we got up this morning and it's beautiful and bright and sunny now, but you saw a little bit of everything today. What's that like mentally? Yeah, I mean, I, I had the trunk one this morning, so I was hitting some shots and I could see that the ball was flying 12, 10 to 12 meters less, at least for me, on, on the range. So I was like, I, I need to adjust this on the golf course because obviously it was so cold. I mean, I was running on the fairways because I was I was just shaking almost. Um, but then, yeah, I started hitting good shots. I think it's important to hit as many greens as you can. Uh, the greens are really nice, very fast, one of the fastest we've played on tour all year. So that's nice to see. And then just be patient. I mean, I think it's a course that you can make, yeah, a couple bad swings, make a bogey or a double uh, in one of the holes. But then I think if you keep playing, you have some wedges, some birdie chances. And I think I took advantage and very happy with the round. Uh, you've had some time to reflect back on the, the great week in Toledo. Uh, what, what are your big takeaways from that? Anything you're, you're pulling forward to this week or do you start fresh? Yeah, I mean, I love that week and it's, I always say it's one of my favorite weeks to play for Europe, to be part of a, of a team. I mean, to be with the girls, with the captain, with the boys, like it's just such a fun week for me. I, I love it. I give my 200% inside the golf course, outside. I love to have fun as well. And to be honest, I was quite tired. Last week it was just, didn't do much, just went back to Phoenix, rest. I'm pretty good at that too, so that was nice to just chill for a few days and then I only played here on Tuesday, no program, so I think it was nice to have the day off yesterday as well, no, no golf on the course. And yeah, I mean, I feel good I'm trying to take that momentum from the Solheim and keep that same energy. I'm hitting good shots and trying my best this week. And then final question, person right here before you, Laura Davies, one of your captains. Uh, what does it mean to you to have someone like her still out here and still thriving? She has had such a great career, still out among the leaders out here on tour. Yeah, I mean, she's my hero. She knows it, and I think it's unbelievable to, I mean, for her to be here, to be playing, to be making cuts. I mean, when I started playing in Europe, I played a lot with her, and I think she's just just different to everyone. The shots that she can hit, like I don't think there is anyone that can hit those shots with the shapes that she hits, like the wedge she's so good, the driver. I mean, I think it's amazing. I think we are lucky that she's still playing and we can see her play. And I love how, how nice she is, how humble she is. I mean, the Sohen Cup, it was just so much fun to, to have her there and to be part of, of the team. And even Bini and Susan, I mean, between the three of them, I think 30 Sohen Cups. So I think we are very lucky to, to have them on, on the team last week. Awesome. Thanks so much, Carlotta. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.